It's 2019, and Season 2 of Love Island Australia is currently being filmed in Fiji. The exact location of the villa is being kept a secret. However, the show's producers have shared enough vision of the surrounding landscape to make it possible to locate the villa precisely using a technique called geolocation by photographic perspective. Stick around and I'll demonstrate how it's done and reveal the exact location of the Love Island Australia villa for 2019. Here's Fiji viewed in Google Earth Pro. This archipelago has more than 330 islands, and the coastline is more than 1,100 kilometres long. The quality of the satellite imagery in Google Earth Pro is not fantastic, and the producers of the show tell us that they've renovated the villa significantly, describing the villa as unrecognisable. So once again, the chances of finding the villa by brute force searching is very low. So, let's explore some of the clues that the producers have given us to see how we can narrow down the location of the villa. Clue number one is the most obvious. The villa is right on the beach. But in addition to this, we can also see the orientation of the villa is more or less parallel to the local shoreline. Here's a picture of the sunset taken from the villa, giving us clue number two. This edge of the swimming pool is parallel with the beach and the other edge of the swimming pool is at a right angle and gives us the direction of the view out to the ocean. We can then add in a new line of perspective to the sunset. So keeping in mind that all of these lines are horizontal, what angle would you say is between the sunset and the view straight out to the ocean? I'll estimate that it's around about 50 degrees. Clue number three comes from the photographer's ephemeris website which gives us some useful information about how the sun moves across the sky. In Fiji, at this time of year, we can see that the sun rises in the east, passes across the northern sky, and sets in the west at an azimuth angle, or compass bearing, of 264 degrees. And with the sun a couple of degrees above the horizon in this image, I'll estimate that the sun is at a compass bearing of about 265 degrees. Combining this with clue number two, we can say that the view out to the ocean is about 50 degrees to the left of this, in this direction. And combining that with clue number one, we can say that the local coastline will be parallel to this line. For example, here, 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 and here. This narrows it down a lot, but there are still dozens, if not hundreds, of segments of coastline that have this orientation. Clue number four comes from the views out to the ocean. We can see that there isn't any land anywhere between the local beach and the horizon, which means that the villa must be in front of a wide expanse of ocean, of at least 40 kilometres or so. So we can just rule out some of those potential locations which would have land in sight. Clue number five comes from this image of the mountains on the horizon behind the villa. We can use Google Earth Pro to see if we can replicate this view of the terrain on the horizon. So let's dive in. And what better place to start than Fiji's island of Viti Levu? Let's get nice and close to the ground, to about the same height as the drone that filmed this image. So maybe about 40 meters. Cool. And now we just need to strafe across the shoreline to see we can find that profile of the terrain. And that is looking pretty promising. Now before we take a closer look at the shoreline, remember that the producers have described the villa as unrecognisable. So first we need to consider the worst case scenario where there's absolutely nothing to see in Google Earth Pro because the villa didn't even exist on May 26, 2017 when Google captured these images. In this case we can search for the villa indirectly, analysing the terrain on the horizon in more detail to figure out exactly where this image was taken from. First let's have a look at this mountain in the distance and this hill in the foreground. Tiny adjustments of our position left and right have a big influence on the profile of these mountains on the horizon. So when we match that exactly and draw a line from the mountains to us, we can predict that the villa will be somewhere close to this line. And when we look at this other mountain in the distance and the hill in the foreground, 
and adjust our position from side to side to match that perspective. We can then construct another line from the mountain to the camera and predict that the villa will be somewhere close to this line as well. Now we have two lines of perspective which literally put an X on the map, giving us a fairly accurate idea of where the image was taken from. So it really doesn't matter how extensively the villa has been renovated, or even if the villa didn't exist at all at the time Google captured these images. We can still figure out where these scenes of the surrounding landscape were photographed from. So without further ado, let's have a closer look. And voila! The villa has had extensive renovations, so there's not a lot to go on, but we can see the building's roof has two long ridges here and here, and another short ridge here, which is exactly what we see on TV. It turns out that this place is called Myola Plantation Villa. It's been a popular venue for weddings and other private functions for many years, and has received accolades from the Fijian tourism industry. Scarlet Industries produced some awesome footage of Myola back in early 2017, and I've included links to these videos in the description box below. So there you have it, the exact location of the Love Island Australia 2019 Villa Revealed. I'll leave you with the following montage. Enjoy!